Hey, welcome back, everybody. This video, I'm going to be doing a comparison of the 2021 Series 1 versus the 2021 Series 2, the TOTS blaster boxes. So in each of these, um, you're going to have the 14 card packs, seven of each of them. Plus, you're also going to have in each one of these the 70th anniversary patch card. Um, let's see what we can get out of here. Here's your checklist for the patch in the series one and your checklist for the patch in series two. So each of these is going to have 99 cards total. So I will go ahead and start this off. Uh, this one will also have the Cody Bellinger highlight ones. And it's compared to the Series 2, it's going to have the Royal Blue base card parallels. So we'll see, uh, see what we can pull out of these. And be very hopeful that I do not get some type of a redemption. Hey, look, I did not realize you got this too. Obviously, this is the first time I've opened one of these. Um, wow. Lots of coupons that uh, expired in almost a year ago. So, <laughs> all right. If anybody wants to uh, collect old coupons for some reason, I know people collect all kinds of stuff. So, coupons, one of your things. Hit me up. Leave me a comment. If you're uh, watching this on Instagram instead of YouTube, send me a uh, send me a direct message. I'll try and hook you up with something. All right. And of course, these all have the 70th anniversary uh, logo up here. Looks pretty nice. In my opinion, looks pretty nice. Bellinger, History of Tops. What is this one? Hmm. I wonder if that's the. Uh, wonder if that's something that you get in every one of these blasters, a different one or something. Our parallel there. Oh, we got our first rookie card. At least I think it was the first one. I don't remember seeing another one. Actually, I don't know why I haven't seen this uh, this card before. But I'd seen just about all of them out of these. Online, of course, not in person. But... All right. Tease Jr., Matt Olson. Ian Anderson rookie, Christian Yelich parallel, Johnson rookie, Dalton Varsho rookie. I, I really hope uh, Arizona just doesn't fall apart. I, I hate seeing when a, a team starts doing so poorly and they lose their fan base. And, um, start losing the fan base you know, to me it's a hit on the entire sport not the not the city not the team it's a, the entire sport feels it you see it on tv and you maybe have half a stadium full of people um, i don't like seeing that really <laughs> you know manny machado juan soto there we go oh verlander doing it in this old age nice looking tatis Good there. Future stars. Two future stars back to back. Let me know who you guys think Mr. Soto is going to end up with. Personally, I think it's going to end up being 
somebody like the Dodgers or um, the Padres, maybe. First refractor there is not numbered, though. Yeah, it's Bo Bichette there. Yeah, a couple nice young players. Bo Bichette, you got the Batiste Jr. Who's some other big names that you're, you're thinking are going to get traded? I know we've got Montas. He's probably going to end up go somewhere. Luis Castillo is another top one. Uh, already said Alcantara is off the table. we got a variation here. That looks nice. Someday, people will realize how uh, he was one of the people that helped turn baseball around from the 90 strikes and uh, brought baseball back to the fans and then he will eventually be in the Hall of Fame he has got some amazing numbers to not be in the Hall of Fame Green back there also. What do we got? Oh, look at that. Got the boys playing. The young guys. This should be a numbered. 362 out of 499. Oh, good old Blake Schnell. Crazy to see how fast someone can drop from the top. He's gotten a little bit better recently. But uh, he definitely lost his Cy Young stuff for a while. Something else in there, it looks like. I don't think it's a numbered card. Patrick Corbin is another one. He uh, is definitely not been worth his money out there in Washington. Got a lot of money owed to him. Oh, you know, Hall of Famer Barry Larkin. Nice one. Alex Bregman. And then another Alex Bregman. Alright, so... See what we've got in our phone. Well, there's our one card. I should have seen that. Oh, now I like seeing that. Oh, Bob Gibson. So this one is definitely going in my PC. I know it's not worth a lot, but to me it's worth more. <laughs> so, all right. So putting these back here. These are my, what I consider my hits. For this I'm gonna put uh, I need to get stands put up for this stuff you know but, uh, those are what I'm considering my hits out of here obviously I got that short print and got Acuna and Guerrero the junior juniors going at it having some fun out there get rid of my trash from this box and we'll Jump right into the series two. See what we can pull out of there. Hopefully, we get some nice cards between these two. Some nicer cards. It'd be nice to pull an auto, but I'm not gonna look to see what our odds are. If we pull one. I'll pull it out. See what the odds actually were. Everybody can see. But uh, right now, I'm not going to worry about that. It looks like this one's packaged slightly different. So, here's my 
patch bag thing, badge thing. Looks like it's probably going to be in a combo. I'm going to say it's this pack right here. So I'm going to save that one to see if I'm right. Looks like it's just slightly bigger. So, Series 2, what do we got for our first pack here? Off. See our blue parallel back there coming up pretty soon. Brandon Lowe. Of course, those are not numbered. Got our die cut here of Tony Gwynn, one of the greatest ever. So, yeah, talk about one of the greatest ever hitters. It's it's your man right there. I'm going to put this one up here also. Ryan Mountcastle. Should have, should have taken out some of the, the rookies from, from the other one also. But I'm good with starting here. Now we got our red color back there. So we'll see what we got back there. Quite a few rookies out of this pack so far. Nothing like huge, except for our Ryan Mount. In my opinion, nothing huge except for our Ryan Mountcastle. Gary Sanchez out of one ninety nine. Good looking card there. Okay. Well, home run challenge obviously is null and void. Got a few packs down. Almost halfway done. Let me know what what do you guys think is winning here so far? I have not looked to see. I don't have my computer, so I can't look up that Roger Clemens. No, got a 2021 card. So there we go. Rookie of Haven Smith. So, two numbered cards, actually. That's a good thing. Never know. Just check the... Make sure there's not something different and missing another numbered card. So I'm always flipping them. Just checking. You know, this style here... I remember this as a kid growing up. This, uh, I, don't, I don't know why, but uh, this was one of my favorite versions back in the day. Had a few others, uh, but for some reason, that that's one of them that always stuck out when I started opening cards up again earlier this year. Um, if you uh, get a chance to see uh, my had uh, a couple videos me unboxing my uh, uh, eBay purchases and hopefully sometime soon you guys will be able to see some of the stuff that I've been getting um, and getting some nostalgia kind of stuff lately uh, most of it I'm gonna PC but yeah who knows and hopefully you guys will enjoy seeing those. Um, fortunately, I, I didn't start doing these when I first started buying from eBay earlier this year. Um, I have definitely, definitely built up my collection again after not having much of a collection before. Um, I had gotten rid of a lot of stuff. Now there's a good looking Casey Mize rookie card. We got the Tyler Stevenson rookie. And I'll tell you what, poor Tyler Stevenson. He has had such a rough year. Such a good player and broken his thumb or hand bone and then 
you know, his collarbone and just, uh, unfortunately that's the price people end up paying when they're a catcher in the big leagues. That's why it makes somebody like Yadier Molina so extremely special to have been a catcher his entire career. Unlike some of the, nothing against like Piazza. Piazza transitioned. He did not catch the entire career. Um, and you can say that about Yadi. He has picked up and played first base a couple times. Um, I'm going to save this one off to the side too, just because uh, just now getting into the Hall of Fame. But yeah, his primary position, his entire career has been catching. Um, been a sore spot for the Cardinal fans while he's been out and rehabbing, rehabbing in uh, Puerto Rico. Uh, there just has not been a whole lot of communication about what's been going on. Uh, Mosaic said it best, though, where he, said he felt like he owed it to Yachty for everything he's done for the organization and for the city of St. Louis to allow him that opportunity to just go back home and recover. Um, yeah, obviously we'd all love to see him at the stadium with his team as that, you know, that mentor, that coach for all these young players. But if he's there and he's not mentally right, it's uh, not going to help much either. So I'm all right with him having done it. I just wish it wasn't as long. So this one here, it's not his rookie year or anything. So this one here, I'll probably pack in probably for some kids or something. Old Miggy. All right, folks. Well, that's going to conclude this. Um, let me know what you think. I should have pulled a few more things out from the Series 1 kept them off to the side but um yeah not everything here needed to be needed to be pulled out it's nice to have these these uh blue parallels they're not really worth much except for uh, you know somebody that's wanting to clip, complete the set with them but yeah i'm pretty pleased with with what i gotten um uh, I was able to actually get these at a little bit of a discount. So I did not end up paying the, the full retail price being a little bit older and everything else is out already. Everyone was trying to get the 2022 Series 1 and Series 2. So uh, I was able to, to pick these up for a little bit less than what they originally went for in the stores. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about uh, about the different versions that I pulled. Uh, what was your favorite one that you pulled or that I pulled? You would have liked to have pulled yourself. Uh, any other comments? Uh, let me know. I'm still new, so appreciate feedback. It's the only way I can get better for you guys, provide you guys with the content that you you'll be able to enjoy watching or listening to. I know a lot of times when I'm doing something, I'm just kind of listening to what's going on in the background. So, uh, and I can just rewind it if I hear something special. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you really enjoyed it, go ahead and uh, subscribe if you want. Uh, I'm going to put out content as much as I possibly can, as much as time allows. So, this is truly just a hobby for me. It's not a full time job. I'm not here trying to make money off of it. I'm just doing this for myself and hopefully for other people to have some pleasure out of listening and seeing what's out there. Till next time, everybody have a great night. Bye.